Yeah, when I walk around in my full gimp suit, people just think that I'm heavy into the BDSM lifestyle. Safety has a car. Uh, cost. <laughs> yeah. Is the grating sound of stone being sounding rod? The voices of the air that hurt to see. Grasped firmly in my hands. That's why it's like broken pieces. I could never go like that far with the BDSM lifestyle because eventually someone would be like, "Yo, try sounding." It's like, nope. <laughs> that's it. Dude, I don't, Finn, what if I don't it was like, like stuff going down my pee pee. On, but Finn, what if it's just some like smoking hot girl? No, I'm not <laughs> putting fucking a rod down my dick hole. It's got you know, the, got you know the big. Big luscious titties. Br Keep on. <laughs> she's there. She's on top of you. You're going at it, and then she's like, and then Wait. she she pulls a rod out of <laughs> yeah, her asshole, and, and she's she goes, like, yo, and she's like, hang on, I want you to try something. She starts she starts going for your zipper. No, I would literally be like, fuck off. I'm not getting sounded. Okay, so we gotta go through. Here. It'll make you feel so good. No, <laughs> no. How am I gonna come? Crosses. Crosses his arms in front of no, <laughs> no. Well, cause like yeah, it's like oh, what if, even if it makes me feel good. When you how am I going to cue if there's a rod blocking all the cues? It doesn't make sense. It's counterproductive. Excessive. It's the ultimate form of birth control. That's like yeah, there's like a form of birth control where they just stick a, like a metal thing <laughs> up a girl's womb. This is a real thing. It's like, I don't know if it's like ancient tech. Oh, I gotta break it to get that note. Hold on. Um, there's like, you can just get a, like, it, like, it's like permanent. You just get a rod in your womb. Ooh. And it blocks you from ever, you know, having s sperm. Right. In your urethra. I don't know. That's, how, that's how babies Not your urethra, womb, whatever. Yeah. I mean, none of them touch the ovaries. That's the important part. Yeah. I know about the female anatomy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Guys, what's the clitoris? <laughs> Who's Clint Taurus? <laughs> Guys, I keep hearing about this guess spot. Like, I don't know what's up with it. I don't know if I'll ever find it. Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. I'm your gynecologist, Clint Taurus. <laughs> Do you guys care about the lore? Not even kind. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we'll just we'll figure it out. Cause I think this is um, this is the this is the monsters and shit. Yeah. Oh fuck. This is about Alexander. Apparently he's immortal. Okay. So we're gonna that's probably the gist. Of it. So yeah, what if the the, the twist mm. is that we try to kill him, but he's immortal and he can't die? It's mm. a funny twist. Yeah. Mm. Not as fun. Oh. Oil, but... Yo, okay. I have to chill with the lantern. That shit burns fast as fuck. We had, like, a full lantern earlier. It's, it's not that empty. It was, like, down to a third, bro. Uh, it's because I refilled it as soon as I saw that one. So, oof. Oh, this is the locked door. Is there nothing else in here like I can Sometimes get? you just gotta walk around without it out. Yeah. We all know that feel. Is there anything else I can do? Or am I just done with this area of the map? Did we find anything to open any doors? We got notes. We have notes, just no key or anything. We moved the story forward. Yeah. Hmm. Yo, oh, wait. Whoa. Didn't we come from there? Yeah. Uh. How? It would make more sense if it's in the room with the locked room, like he locked the key. Yeah. So, I think, check, check on your left, that book kind of looks, looks like different. Out. Yeah. Pull it out, it's a secret door. Oh, uh, Brian! What's Brian moving with though? the genre awareness. But what's moving? I think the oh. door. Oh. I think on your right it looked like that bookcase had something. Yeah, look, it's getting louder. It's what the like, fuck happened? Yeah, it's a time-sensitive thing. No. Oh, no, it was something opening that's now open? What's going on? You want to try pulling it again? See if you can hit it again. Yeah. Is it possible to move that, that bookcase? Because there's definitely, like, a door behind it or something. This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A draft of a faint letter coming from the shelf. There must be a way in. Okay. But. 
Because that definitely activates yeah, something. It's doing right something right now. Are there, do I have to get other books? Like, do I have to do a bunch of books? We're supposed to kill oh. someone there. Yeah. Uh. Hold, bruh. What? Okay. okay. There's a third one. Oh. I don't have enough. There we go. Yeah. I didn't have enough room to pull the mouse out, and I was just figuring out to do it again. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so there's gotta be. Some okay. No more of that. Oh my god, I wasted so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're fine. Fine. I could light the f the fire, boys? I. Oh, that dude. We only got two. Yeah, yeah. it's no point. Okay. There's Ooh, a key. key. Oh. Wine cellar! Yes! There yeah. we go. Oh, no. <clears throat> Regarding closure of the wine cellar. Ah! Rohan, the dude, the electric servant, have endangered my research? Mm-hmm. Absent-minded handling of the human vessel. Oh. Human vessel. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest. Ooh. And is killing my servants? Uh, is this dude making zombies? He might be making zombies. Or uh, mutants. Or mutants. Right. Wine cellar will be sealed off. Oh, the off. human vessels. So, I think he's like taking like souls or something and transferring them into these like... Yes. He locked everyone in the wine cellar. So he said either the king's men will leave in time or the people in the cellar will starve. Hmm. So, I guess maybe all the monsters will start in the wine cellar. Because what if all the dudes got locked in there? Mm -hmm. <coughs> with the monsters. I think we'll figure out what, like, mm -hmm. more of what happened to these, to these dudes yeah, once cellar. we go to the wine cellar. Every time I hear about somebody getting trapped in a wine cellar, I think about Edgar Allan's Poe story of Castle of Monte Auto or something like that. Oh, yeah. Monte Cristo. Wait, that He's still doesn't scared. solve how to get back. Maybe, it's maybe, open, it's, maybe it's open. <laughs> yeah? It's probably not, but maybe there's another way around. Maybe. I maybe mean, fuck it. What if all those bookshops also opened the door? Oh, yeah, it did. Oh. Okay. Nice. Let me get back. What's this? Study. I think this is where you broke the um, upload. Yeah, it is. Okay, now the study is locked. That's weird. I'm getting fed up with this, if I'm being honest. This fucking sucks. I mean, it's a good game, but it's yeah. like... The the progression is getting annoying. Well, we gotta get to that wine cellar. Yeah. Oh! oh! Okay. Shit, they heard us. Yeah. <laughs> because. There is some sort of, like... like man beast somewhere right yeah this room looks like a boss fight room it does Ooh. it's freaking oh. a dark souls boss burst right through okay that's not scary and i still got goosebumps right? i'm fucking mad <laughs> that door's bust oh. down it's searching for us now no oh, fuck dude it's like some frankenstein's monster okay we out we out <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Dude, the picture changed on the loading screen. Oh, yeah. Handful of sand trickled out from the crumpled sun ceiling and pushed up in his hat. He the the cavern suddenly shifts into the cellar. Alright, so yeah, some. Bruh. Okay. I feel like it's gonna, there's gonna be like a legit monster that's up that's wandering around. Right? Oh, oh what whoa. The, what the? Okay. What is that? I think that's the floor. Yeah, it actually does damage. The fuck? All is good, but not perfectly fit. Okay. What? Okay. Cool. I guess that monster just leaves a trail of whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. The, the, the membrane. Yeah. Reminds me of Carnage. Carnage? What was it? The. Venom like villain from Spider-Man. Oh. Yeah, like Does he leave red goop everywhere? Sure does. He's 
got he makes like weapons out of out of red goo. Yeah. Huh. Like he's like Venom, but he's a serial killer. Oh, yeah. pretty much. It's like basically if Venom attached to like an insane serial killer. Yeah. It's like or if, it's um, basically Joker Venom and the Joker. Or, yeah. Yeah. Like if Joker became a symbiote. Huh. I think they're gonna do him in Venom too. I'm here. When I get out of here, and I will. There's going to be carnage. Isn't Venom yeah, already kind of right. evil, though? Yeah, but it's like, Venom is like, he just hates Spider-Man. Why does he hate Spider-Man? Because, like, Eddie Brock hates Spider-Man. Um, Why does Eddie Brock hate Spider-Man? Eddie Brock hate. I think, like, because Spider-Man is, like, a better reporter than he is. Oh, because it's... Oh, yeah, oh, Eddie right, Brock right, is a reporter. No, he hates Peter Parker, and then he hates Spider-Man because, like, he's, like, uh, J. Jonah Jameson or whatever. I forget why specifically Eddie Brock hates Spider-Man. It's because Peter Parker always gets the pictures of Spider-Man and never Eddie Brock. Yeah. Right. And he probably wanted to work at the Daily Bugle. And, like, something. also the yeah. symbiote hates Spider-Man because Spider-Man rejected it, and so their hatred together makes Venom so they really hate Spider-Man. Oh. Oh. When standing in darkness, you're standing, so our Sandy was just draining for half a second. Yeah, you guys hear um, Spider-Man's back in the MCU? Yeah, I saw that. So Wait, that's we, what Fisher thought it might happen. No, it just happened today. We nice. did it, Reddit. <laughs> yeah, everyone's complaining. I hope that doesn't put a stop to the Venom collaboration. With stuff. I was just thinking. Like, I, I think like, they didn't. He say that he's still gonna do Sony stuff, also. I also think like maybe it's only one more movie in the MCU because I think just they're doing Spider-Man three, and then I'm just gonna know. wrap up his. That's what. That's like what's. And then he'll make said, appearances in like other Avengers and shit like that. Yeah, who knows? Oh, okay. Oh, we got the cow mine. And now stuff is caving in. Ooh, oh! Ouch. Barrels. Fucking barrels. Dude! Now I know what he's talking about. PewDiePie moment! <laughs> <laughs> Where the fuck are we? Feet. This is where. Feet. I always knew PewDiePie was the smartest man alive. Ever since he hated the Jews. Oh no! No, it's, I get to make those jokes because I'm a Jew. Don't worry about it. Can't say that he <gasps> hate to, this hate barrel to. contains more than a half lantern worth of oil. Oh wait, no, he didn't do that donation. Oh, oh. So no, you can yeah. Just keep coming back to it. Well, it only has a little bit more now, but yeah. Oh. I guess in theory there'll be barrels with more oil. Hammer. Hammer. <laughs> Come at me now. Cell phone. Rope. In your box. Oh, yeah. There we go. I completely forgot about that. Yeah, we just go completely insane. Dude, I want to see the monsters so we can stop playing this. Yeah. <laughs> That's like where I'm at. Because it's like on one hand, it's like. Lighting candles. I'm like enveloped enough to like, okay, I would be down to play this entire game. But just like scheduling wise. Yeah, yeah. time wise. You ain't got time for Cause it. Cause I'm, I, I'm kind of getting into it now, actually. Yeah. I'm like, we're we supposed to be playing this. We don't have we're all We're supposed to do 30 minutes of this. <laughs> Are you serious? Yes. How did we think this was gonna be 30 minutes? Well, cause maybe there'd be a monster super early, yeah. and then that could be the let's play. How do I get out of here? Just stop lighting candles, so we just have- You can jump, right? Or you gotta climb up? I can jump. Climb up on- Oh, on the rock? No. Oh, left step to push. Oh, are we gonna knock this over? Oh. Oh. You could do that, but you couldn't move bookcase over here. Look, I Book guess. Weird. Game, game didn't say we could do that. Bookcases yet. are like made of solid lead. <laughs> Two hours later. This challenge is too much for me. <laughs> Look at the, they, go. they got the fisheye lens on now, bro. Fuck. I'm gonna make a rap video with a couple of times. <laughs> it goes. Wah, wah. What the ladies and men? There, Fuck there is something coming. Yeah, there's like blood starting to appear on the floor. Come on, demons. Yeah. It's me. <laughs> your boy. And your boy. Oh, wait, I want to go insane. I forgot. Nice. <laughs> it's fun. Sound, the sound design in this game is it's really good. Like, it's pretty ambitious, honestly. Like, do you think the amount of sounds they would have had to record? This is like an indie game. Yeah. Why is this the only rock you can't touch? Right? <laughs> <laughs> this is girlfriend. 
<laughs> rada, rada. Maybe I gotta move these rocks out of the way, bro. Who, it, you know, I thought we were playing a video game, not construction site. Wow. Yeah, scathing commentary, I know. Sandy is dangerously low. Uh oh. Come if on. it just kills us without like a jump scare, I I'm hope gonna be we don't, so. Like, pass out. We better like. It's definitely. I mean, it must be because it's sanity. It's definitely we pass out. Because I think the monsters are actual entities in the universe of the game. I don't want a jump scare or something. I know. The game also said it auto saves though, so it's like even if we die, how much progress we're gonna lose? You know what I mean? No, pull the rock. Are you too insane to pull the rock? Maybe we should, like, light, light a can. Ugh. I'm just thinking, like... What if the, what if it doesn't live up to the... It might yeah. not be a satisfying death or something. Yeah. Through our brains... <laughs> sanity. <Yeah>. Ellipses. <laughs> yeah, we are not in a good spot. At least we have a lot of, uh... I put it in the... Tells me he's... Okay. Whatever. All right. There we go. Now can we open? Oh, not one. No land. Finally. Okay. We haven't even been in the uh, wine cellar yet, right? Well, this is where we are now. Is the wine cellar? Okay. Here's a map. So that was the hammer room. Should we go to the cage room? I don't know, dude. Where's the freaking wine? <laughs> it's on the top of the part of the map. Oh! What the fuck? What the fuck? That was... Okay, look up real quick. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Cool. I was just thinking there's just gonna oh. be some... Oh, God. Cool. Yeah. I was just thinking there's just gonna be some big deformed demon right on the ceiling. It's Let's see what this has got to be building up to, like this area of the game, right? Yeah. I would actually love that. Oh, feel my chest is going to burst. That's me. Oh, wait. You're not going to chuck this around. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. With all my might, I'm trying to just drag the viscera around. Oh, treasure chest. How can you say that? I don't have you, you piece of shit. Let us out of here. Let me out. This particular voice actor is a factory. Yeah, I mean, it's like an indie game. Yeah. It's amazing that they have like even competent voice acting. Oh. It's like, how could you do that? He just sounds like a teenager having a tantrum. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got two out of the four ingredients. Wilfheim's last words. Oh! My name is Wilfheim House of Geddick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to Castle Brennenberg, as most of the aristocracy. Arist aristoc of the Aristocracy. Aristocracy. I was curious about what was supposed to know the order could want from me and accept the invitation. The Baron was friendly, offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid, and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I almost puked. <laughs> I want to kidnap I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest my character at the royal court, advancing my position within noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I've brought men, women, and children to Brennenberg. I can't remember the numbers, but there are many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Mm. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. We, rem we remember what happened then. Yeah, you locked, you locked them in. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. Dude, sick rhymes. So <laughs> begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me what I've done. I was weak and fell to his diabolic ways. Diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. Yeah. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature... Blood has begun to pour from my eyes, and, and I, can I can no, no longer... Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> what if he did the Wilhelm scream? Wouldn't that be funny? As he's Blood gonna... began to pour from his eyes. <laughs> and he did the Wilhelm scream. Okay, empty cellar. Turtle shell. 
Bowl. Nice. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess this is where the the bones got twisted. Yeah. Uh, I don't These know. These guys if just freaking exploded. Yeah. I mean, what happened to the bones? Literally everything else except the bones. The, the yeah. Skeletons crawled out of their bodies. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, that'd be a funny twist. They just yeah. all joined together to form one. Yeah. Mega skeleton. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. I, I would like that as a body horror villain. Yeah. A just giant. It doesn't even look like a human skeleton anymore. Yeah, because like all the bones from the corpses like ripped themselves out of the bodies. Yeah. Like if you imagine your skeleton trying to rip its way out of you. Three, two, one, go! Oh!